Hey, Tim and Joel. Our next guest is an Australian television presenter and journalist. She's made appearances on The Project, Have You Been Paying Attention and Shark Tank. I was just warming up. She's currently the co-host of Studio 10. We have an absolute whopper of a show coming your way. Please welcome Whoa! Sarah Harris. Really, really well. Oh, I can see my As you walked on before. The boys are from a line to be written out in time. Notice that? <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, beautiful. Good to see you. Oh, I know. Best teeth in showbiz. Oh, right. I don't, I don't, oh, we're not on air now, are we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we are. No, and also, how showbiz is this, right? I know, look at now. Look, it's just, it's almost, it's 5 30 ish on a, on a Thursday, but you like <laughs> rocked up. And we had no idea. I know. <laughs> I know. It was like it was like I invited myself on this date. Well, no, we, we no, definitely know we, we asked for you, but we just we didn't get we didn't hear back. I know. I'm so <laughs> a bit of a, I, I, I was always going to be here, so thank no, you. No, I love it. I love it. And also, you love this area of town. Well, you, like, yeah, you're our neighbour. Get out of right here. Next door. Oh, I'm right you next door. Yeah, you can you can almost see my dressing room from here. <laughs> yeah. Do you have one of those dressing? Do you have a bathroom in your dressing room? I have a shower. Good. Oh, I'll shower. Very yes. oh, you, it is very, and very. Do you glamorous. actually shower at work? No. 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 But you had to think I'm, about it. I'm so you are yeah. nude. At oh work. no, no. I, I was, I was, <laughs> during the height of the pandemic, um, I, when I was running in the mornings, I oh, I right. would shower in the morning. Yeah. But I really oh, fell off, fell off that wagon pretty fast. Are we, is this is this go? Yeah, we're on. Oh, yeah, right. we go. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm ready. Hi. No, Hi. <laughs> you must be exhausted as well because you've been filling in for the um for Captain SS Sandra Sully. Oh yeah, I know. The icon. I know. Oh, icon sitting in the Queen's chair for Dude. a couple of nights. I was uh, coming one of the last times I came here to Nova. To, I think I was coming to do an interview with you guys. Yeah. And I pulled up out the front at the cafe downstairs and I saw Sandra. Oh, and she's queen. I get like <laughs> starstruck over like people like Sandra, like really, really, and Peter Overton, people like that. Totally. A lot of news readers. No. <laughs> people no, like that. Like that. <laughs> because they're such a part of our lives. Totally. Yeah. And and you just, you, you get, it's, you, you're you like a little kid. Yeah. It's so exciting. And all those big moments, they they, they were there for the big Total, moments, well, you know. Sandra's the biggest icon. So you must, you must admit, once you, you filled in for Sandra for a few days, you must have been on the phone to your manager going, I need to be working at this time of day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I've got to say, on my second day I thought I'm never going to get called back for this gig again because <laughs> I had like a lot of nervous wheeze before the show or before the, <laughs> before the bulletin started and um, it was like five minutes before uh, the, the bulletin's about to go live and I said I'm just going to quickly just duck in and use the bathroom real quick and I raced in and I went to sit down and my <laughs> mic pack dropped out <gasps> of the back of my pants oh, yeah. onto oh, no. the toilet bowl. Yeah. Oh! And oh. I turned around and I can hear them going, four minutes! Oh, no. I've put my hand, the bo- it was just clean yeah, toilet water, yeah, yeah. but I ripped it out of the bowl, wrapped it up in toilet paper, ran oh out, ran out to the studio holding onto them and with my pants fly still down. And I'm like, <laughs> can, we, can, we, can we do something? Can we put it in some rice or something? <laughs> rice. Like 30 seconds. Oh, and I'm like, no. oh my God, I'm just like a hot mess in a, like a nice jacket now and oh, sorry no. cells. And there you are reading the news sitting next to a risotto. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, it was pre-pandemic and stuff, you know, you just whack an earpiece and stuff and you and stuff like that. And then when, when I was doing some TV over the COVID time, mm. they're like, oh, here, just here's a, use a wet wipe on that. I'm like, why weren't we always wet wiping yes. earpieces? Yeah, oh, I know. I think something. about how many times you've rammed one in you, you're not even questioning not even it. Questioning it. Like, <laughs> what, now you decide this is uh, something you should disinfect? Yeah. Well, I have to wear tape on my earpiece because I jam it so far into my oh, ear. Same. Oh. Do you have it really loud too? Because yeah. those, those RFBs can be very... Um, fiddly. Fiddly and mm. staticky as you well. You my headphones in here. They are nuclear, le- like loud. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What about yours, Jolly? Completely normal. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm fine. Yeah, what are you listening right. to over there? <laughs> <laughs> What's in your headphones? I know. I'm listening to Carrie and Tommy, actually. Oh, there we go. Um, <laughs> I don't know why you get nervous for that. Is it because you're filling in for Sandra? Because you're, you know, you're Sarah Harris. Yes. You do the 
projects, no, but I, and I, Shark Tank. There's something different about reading the news, though. Oh, um, yeah. It is. It's it's serious. Yes. You know, like I get to go to work like you guys and have a bit of fun and have a laugh. But when it comes to the news, you have to be well. First of all, there's nowhere to hide. You can't no. make a silly joke mid bulletin if you stuff <laughs> yeah. something up. No. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's it. You are on and mm. and working for an hour must have been a treat for you because Studio <laughs> Ten goes for an, an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> Thank you very oh, much. Oh like my a god. Holiday. Oh, 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 what next? What next? I go for a run. I get my nails done. Oh wow! <laughs> what time does Studio Ten start these days? Eight, midnight. Eight, 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 no, eight thirty. Eight thirty till midday. Yes. Um, and that, obviously, Ten News First Breakfast is just before. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> when you're doing the news, do you ever get because it is such a serious environment? Mm. But there are those times when we all get in those little moods where you, something is like kind of under you and you just can't stop laughing oh, and you get that is the my giggles. Worst fear. That <laughs> yeah. is my worst fear. And look, there are times when I've felt like that, not on news, but definitely on Studio 10, yeah. especially when I had Joe Hildebrand working I was next to, to me. Oh, because, yeah, of course. But, because he was learning TV as well at the time. <laughs> and, and also he would just, he we, we would make each other oh, laugh course. and yeah, you would kind of just be standing there like, you know, pinching yourself yeah. just yeah. to try and hurt yourself. But yeah, it's, I um, do miss I, Joe from TV. I, I, I know he does Sky News on Fridays, doesn't he? Yes. But, I, but strangely, I'm not home on Friday night. Is that all? <laughs> yeah. you're, you're out volunteering, aren't you, with the soup kitchen? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Is the soup kitchen the name of a new bar I can check out? Yeah. <laughs> it should be. I've, Sarah, I've got to ask how the rest of your Logies night panned out because I was trying to lead you um, astray. Oh, I know. Is that why you, Joel? I do remember you and I intentionally getting locked out of the room to give ourselves a breather. We, um, we, I love being locked out. That's oh where the God. fun happens. Yes. Absolutely. It was you, myself, um, uh, Simone Holtznagel and Christian Wilkins sitting around, the yes. four blondes on a table. There was also but, Ali Langdon at one point. Oh, that's right. I found in my photo stream because oh, I was just really? like, oh, oh I, I, I saw a lot of people last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you, I think you went home because I didn't see you after. No, I actually had, it, I had to pull the pin early. I had to oh, leave the GC early. Was it fun? Did you stay out? Any uh, Of any course, goss? I missed my flight the next morning. <sighs> Yeah, it was. Oh, poor. Those, those SBS people really know how to. <laughs> no, I I came to the ten party. SBS don't oh, have you? a party. No, don't they? but we like Switzerland. We can go wherever because we're SBS. Yeah, that's true. No yellow competition. <laughs> oh, that's the station with subtitles, right? Come on, yeah. In. Come on in. Yeah, and you might see a rude bit. No, I know. Mm. I learned actually that's why they do those subtitles on a certain colour because there were over so many nude scenes. Oh. You know, like there are a certain SBS yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So when you when you look at world movies and stuff on SBS, maybe I, I know. Wow, you've really know. taken note oh, of that. Yeah. I'm a film buff, He's Sarah. A I'm a film buff. Oh, film buff, huh? I'm a film buff. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong about those films? <laughs> Let's Blue movies. Go through the rules for quick draw. Um, Can I just say, first of all, I'm so excited to play this game. Have you never I've played? I've never, so ever really? played, and I do it in the car, and I feel like I've got really? this. How do you go when you play along in the car? Oh, you always win in the car because the pressure's not on, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now in here, it's so much pressure. Mm. With, with giant <laughs> Snickers bars coming in over your head. Oh, yeah. Would you like a Snickers, you by like the way? Oh, I do like, I do yeah, like I a Snickers. Oh, wow. Well. It's a ball of Snickers. Oh, surprise. Anthony Albanese, our Prime Minister, is here with the rules for Quick Draw. This is Anthony Albanese, Hello. and these are the official the Quick Draw rules. Rule number one, your first response is your final <laughs> answer. Two, if you answer incorrectly, your opponent has a reasonable amount of time to respond with their answer. Three, human error is sometimes unavoidable. Be a good sport and above all, have fun. And finally, the rules are the rules. Well, not quite finally. Uh, Uh, This is the most important rule set. Ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. Okay, um, I'll give you a practice question, then we'll have a little break. I'm taking my shoes off. Oh, wow. Yeah, go for it. I love it. (laughs) Get grounded. Go on. Oh, yeah, you're playing Ricky. I will if you, you are will. playing Ricky. Oh, I give a category and a letter. The first to yell out a correct answer gets a point, and the first answer you yell out is locked in. Practice question. Oh, I'm scoring, by the way, Sarah. Oh, yeah. oh, this is the last time I'll get a word in, so I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> if you want to hear from Joel, um, thank you very much for joining us for the rest of the show. Yeah, if you're scoring, you're, you're like off, off Broadway in this game. <laughs> you're like the gamble of uh, The Real Housewives. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Finally, a guest don't with The Real Housewives. Oh, I love you, Sarah. Oh, my God. Uh, name a TV presenter starting with S. Sam oh. oh, amazing. <laughs> Let's call it a tie. Uh, Sarah Harris is here. Quick draw. We're going to play for real when we come back. 
Tatum and Joel's Quick Draw. I cannot believe it. It's unbelievable to have Sarah Harris here. Amazing. For the first time playing Quick Draw. It's mind-blowing. We talk about you through the week off air and on air quite a lot actually oh really oh, yeah. Wow. yeah and we also do and, and on air we do love to um talk about um your co-host angela bishop a lot all the time oh, yeah another she's, icon there she's an icon it's real she's we are uh, last week i overheard a conversation between her and dickie because she had just arrived in la for the vma that's two titans did you see Young Gravy and Angela Bishop on the red carpet at the VMAs? Oh, no. no. Is it Young Gravy? Socials? Is that his name? Yeah, I heard it. I don't young. know all these kids no. these days. All these young kids these days. Is it on Bishop's social? Uh, no, but he, he's dating Addison Ray's mum, and he said that he has a. He has a, got a he's got a liking for MILFs. Oh, this is oh. And oh, wow. Have you seen that? Yes, I did see. Oh. And he was he was extremely flirty with her. Well, He's, fair enough. Who and then be? we had George Lazenby be in, the 007, Australia's uh, James Bond oh, yes. in. And again, I mean, Tristan and I were just uh, chopped liver. Imagine, and was the, the apple of his eye. Oh, <laughs> of course. Of course. She's the queen. Oh, she is. Absolutely. She is. <laughs> okay, now we're playing for real. Uh, is Ricky v. Sarah. Okay. Uh, it's the girls. Really? It's the girls. The girls. You're dressed like you're on the news I today. I am. Like, uh, <laughs> beautiful oh. Ricky. I think you this is going to be a good I game. Step up and be a bit classy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, we're playing for real, as we found out uh, Joel is scoring. Of course, uh, Studio 10, 8.30, weekdays on 10. Anything else you'd like to throw in there in a, in a plug sense? Nah. No. Nah. Pretty good for the moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Question number one. Name a cuisine, starting with C. Custard. <laughs> Custard. <laughs> We'll have to go Chinese. Okay, all right. Yep. <laughs> well, it is. A, is it a cuisine? Is it it's a food. For my children, it's cuisine. It's the only thing my four-year-old eats. So they oh, yeah, yeah, or my custard. grandma. Oh, so good. Those, those squeezable pouch things. Oh, yeah. 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 Lunch, breakfast, those. lunch and dinner right there. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> all right, question number two. Name something you'd find at a carnival, starting with T. Try a tent, a big tent. A tent. A tent, a carnival tent. Blackers, are you with me on that? Might have been one of the weirdest, yes, slowest quick draw answers ever. I will watch that on repeat. I mean, look, I'm gonna go on record first. This is more of an off air conversation, probably one of the worst questions we've ever had. She did it in a hurry. Why is it so hard to find one for that? Toy tent. Teddy and Token. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, let's scrap the question. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, oh. Like oh, well, as Anthony Albanese says. Ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. Right. <laughs> that pause before we both answered felt like an it eternity. Was heaven. <laughs> New question number two. Name okay. an Australian politician starting with J. Past or present? I've gone blank. Julie Bishop. <gasps> yes! Oh, there's How so many. There's also John Howard and Julia oh, Gillard. so many. So many. <laughs> I was thinking Jason, Jason, Jason Clare. Jason Clare's oh, now. Go. That's yeah. a good one. There you go. It's a bit okay. late, though. Focus, focus. <laughs> Question number three. Name a clothing brand starting with B. Balenciaga. Okay. Yes, Sarah, Whoa! my favourite brand. <laughs> I'm so glad. I didn't even things. own a piece of Balenciaga, but Ange talks about it a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> Ange and Joel. So does Joel. Talk Joel. About. <laughs> the, one, the one thing I love about Balenciaga is you don't know that the item's from there. <laughs> no, that's right. No branding. Like, where, 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 where's that uh, T-shirt from there, Joel? <laughs> oh, it's cool, mate. It's cool. Um, yeah, Your big whatever. gross shoes. Um, yeah, friendly. <laughs> question number four. Name a sport starting with R. Rugby league. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yep. She's What's even going on? Running, rock climbing, <laughs> rowing. Have you I two know. dropped acid or something? <laughs> You're <know>. very slow. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> this is the worst game of quick drive ever. Like, on the way home. It's what so bad. It's good. So name a girl's name starting with P. Peter. Oh, Patricia. Oh, here she goes. Oh. Ricky, what I has happened? Started. Three I'm points nervous. to Sarah, two points to Ricky. Ricky, you have to get this <laughs> next question correct to stay in the game. Oh, I know. But I can't because I left the tag on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is for the win, Sarah. Stay in the game, Ricky. Name something you'd find in a bottle shop starting with G. Gin. Oh! Yeah! What a comeback. Uh, what? Wow. That was amazing. You warmed up. You really warmed up there. I know. I know. Look at me, I invited myself on your radio show to play the game and then I blitzed Rick. Thank you. Kate, Tim and Joel on Nova.